Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Dan. I'll be guiding you through setting up your USPS Stamps.com account with Shipworks. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we're going to click on the Manage tab, and then we'll click on the Shipping Settings button. When the Shipping Settings screen opens up on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and select USPS. And then we'll click on the Setup button to launch the Setup Wizard. Now you can create a new stamps.com account for use with Shipworks directly from this wizard. We have an existing stamps.com account, so we're going to select that option. And then once we have that option selected, we'll go ahead and we'll click Next. On the account registration screen, go ahead and enter in the information about your stamps.com account. Uh, you'll notice that it did pull a lot of that address information in from our store setup. So if you uh, have to enter in additional information, please feel free to take the time there. We try to make that as easy as possible for you. Once you have the information filled out, go ahead and click Next. And on the next screen, you'll enter in your stamps.com account information. That's your username and password. So go ahead and take a moment to fill that out. And once you have that information entered, go ahead and click Next. That'll get you connected to stamps.com. And then on the next screen, it's going to ask you what type of label or printer you're going to be printing to. Now, a standard uh, is typically selected if you're printing to an inkjet printer or a laser printer. If you're using an older thermal printer, such as a uh, Zebra 2844, you may select EPL. And most modern thermal printers nowadays, like the Zebra printers, those use the ZPL printer language. That's what we're printing to today. So we're going to choose Thermal ZPL. And then we'll click Next. And then the account uh, information here, this is actually, you've got your setup, you're ready to roll. You'll notice that we're connected to the account. It shows the rate type. We can also click on buy postage if we choose to, to add additional postage. And there's a couple of links here for you to jump directly out to your stamps.com uh, account online. Um, we're not gonna click on those now, but just know that those are there if you need to review anything. Uh, once you review the information, click Next. On the origin address screen, you have the option to add additional origin addresses. So if you do ship from more than one warehouse location, for example, you can enter in those addresses here. Then when you're shipping, you can select from those addresses when you're shipping with stamps.com. We don't actually ship from multiple locations, so we're just going to go ahead and click Cancel here. And then once we have any additional uh, origin addresses entered, you can go ahead and click Next. The base defaults are great. If you click on the blue link there that says defaults USPS, that gives you the opportunity to enter in the main defaults that you use when shipping with stamps.com. So if you, for example, use first class most often, you can select that, enter in a weight, you can enter in dimensions. Uh, maybe you wanna put a custom note to your customers, like a thank you message on the bottom of the label. You can enter that information into a memo field. Uh, and then there's many other defaults that you can configure here. And again, these are just the defaults that pull up when you select stamps.com as your shipping provider. Of course, you can modify those if you need to when you're creating a label. Once you've reviewed those and entered in any defaults that you'd like to configure, go ahead and click the OK button. And then that'll take you back to the main screen where you can continue on with the setup wizard. The additional defaults here we're not going to touch on in this tutorial. Those are rules. There are additional uh, tutorials available for that. Go ahead and click Next. And on the Printing Setup screen, we're going to leave the defaults. Automatically print labels after processing. Nine times out of 10, you want them to print. Um, the rules here just define to which printer uh, the label should be printed to, whether it's thermal or standard. And when you click Next, you may be prompted to select those printers. So if you're using a thermal printer, you can choose that printer from the dropdown. And if you're utilizing a standard label printer, you can select that as well. Once you've selected those printers, you can just go ahead and click OK, click OK again, and then click Next to continue on with the uh, setup wizard. On the email account screen, the processing setup, uh, we're not going to add an email account here. There are other tutorials to cover that, uh, but just know that it's available to you. If you wish to add email accounts to Shipworks, you can do so so that Shipworks can automatically email shipping notifications, for example. We're also going to leave the local statuses alone. Just leave those defaults, click Next, and then we'll click Finish. 
and that will complete the setup. So we're now connected to stamps.com. There are a few other defaults that I want to mention to you here um, on the USPS link, which is where we're at now. You can get back into those base defaults. You'll notice the blue link there. If we want to go back in and modify those base defaults, we can do that from this screen. We also have the ability to review our account information. So you'll notice that it's listed there for us and we can click edit to get back into that account information. Maybe we need to update an address or get back out to those links on the website. We can do that from here. And if we scroll down, we have available services and available package types. Uh, what this does is this allows you to select or deselect any of the services or package types that you may or may not use when you're shipping with stamps.com. So if there are certain services you never use, maybe uncheck those. It'll clean up the interface a little bit so that they're not in that list of services to select from when you're shipping. The same is true for available package types. You can turn off any of those package types that you never use, and they won't show up on the shipping screen when you're shipping a package with stamps.com. Again, it just cleans up the interface a little bit. When you're done with that, go ahead and click close. That actually completes the entire setup. So you are now set up and ready to roll with stamps.com. Thank you so much for choosing Shipworks, and we hope to hear from you soon. Mm -hmm.